much for clicking on this video. Hope you're having an awesome day. Thanks for taking some time every day to hang out with me. Today's video, we are unboxing the Lashy Box for September 2020. I will leave my Lashy Box playlist to watch previous unboxings. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and give this video a like. Let's get unboxing. Lashy Box has a bunch of different tiers. I get the XL tier because you get five pairs of lashes and then you get a handful of makeup items. They have a full box, which is very similar to XL. I think you might just get less makeup items and one less pair of lashes. And then they also have a dramatic tier where you can get more dramatic lashes or a soft tier, that way you get more natural lashes. I really like how they offer multiple different tiers to your liking. I think the XL and the full box get a mixture of both natural and dramatic or some in between. This is what the inside of the XL box looks like. The first item is by Pixie. This is the Hello LA Angel palette. I have not tried many items by Pixie. They have a duo highlighter that I picked up from Target. It is amazing. And I don't think I'm ever going to hit pan on it. I remember watching Kelly Gooch's product said she was surprised she never hit pan on and that duo was in there and I can see why. A little goes a long way and when you use it consistently you would think you would see a dip but you don't. I guess it's good because I think it was about $15 so it averaged out being about $7.50 per shade which is very comparable to ColourPop highlighter price because I do find Pixi pretty expensive for drugstore. It's definitely on the higher end. That's kind of been why I've been turned off by some other products. I have a handful of Pixi products from Ipsy so it's been a great way to try it and then to see an eye shadow and face palette duo in lashy box is really awesome because I'm sure this right here pays for this entire box and then some and of course we gotta do swatches I cannot resist top row these are my first pixie eyeshadows and based off of the first three swatches everything was really creamy I'm seeing pigment all the way through and the shades were super soft I know these shades are really light and it's really hard to create a look with like these three shades but it just gives me a lot of hope that when I take my brush and apply on my eye that's gonna have good payoff and good blendability and I hope that's the case this is my bare arm and when I create looks on my eyes they are primed with either primer or concealer second row I am obsessed with this shimmer right there. If all else fails, this shimmer will get depotted and I'll just put it all over my lid for those lazy no makeup days. Add some eyeliner, mascara, you're good to go. Third row. Nothing against the mattes. I think that they're swatching beautifully, but these shimmers, I am obsessed. Last row for eyeshadows. Ooh, even the matte black swatch really nice. I love a good matte black in my palettes. And the face powders. And this is the entire palette swatched. Overall, I am really excited to give this a shot. As I was swatching through the color story, I was getting very fall vibes, which is fitting since we are transitioning into the fall. This shimmer in particular just gives me pumpkin spice vibes, and it is more of a neutral palette, but it is very warm. So I think that this is going to be a good palette to really reach for, for those fall looks. Looking at this shade, at first I thought it was going to be a highlighter, but it's swatched more like a blush, has a glow look to it, and then the two bronzers. I definitely am more drawn to this bronzer right here. It has has more of a cool undertone whereas the second bronzer is a lot more warm which can pull more red or orange and I don't really like those shades on me that's just my preference and I also realized that the names are actually on the back of the palette so that is on me I apologize for that I'm really excited to give this a shot both on my eyes and my face to see how it performs the matte black doesn't want to leave the second makeup item is by appeal this is the ultra cream liquid lipstick and the shade I received is Sugar and Spice. This is what the doe foot looks like. I'm gonna swatch it right here. Ooh, that is gorgeous. And this is Sugar and Spice swatched. This shade is really pretty. It's definitely more on the pinkier, nudie side of things, but I think this is going to be a great nude fall lip color. I like to go really bold in the fall, like Hello Stranger from ColourPop is my go-to shade overall, but especially in the fall with these more grungier looks, I am here for a bold lip like this. But then again, sometimes I do like to make really colorful looks and I don't always want them to be overshadowed 
overshadowed by a bold lip so this could get a lot of use in that as well I have not tried any of appeals liquid lipsticks it seemed to be a thicker formula it took a little bit more time to dry down so I'm not sure if it's going to be completely matte or if it's going to be on the more satin side so we'll have to test it on the lips and do a transfer test just to get an idea but based on the swatch it did feel really creamy which is good because I have dry lips so I tend to like more of a satin finish than a matte but if it was to be a little bit more on the matte side I can always pair it with a gloss just to make it look a little bit more juicier and not as dehydrated and then the third makeup item we have this brush by B Bella Cosmetics this is brush 135 I really like brushes like these because it helps me clean up my lipstick when I go a little bit lipstick crazy on application I just lightly tap either concealer or foundation and just clean up accordingly but I feel like with some of my lipsticks because I think my hello stranger bullet lipstick it is slowly dying on the tip so it would also be a good way to take the brush and apply it that way I think the three makeup products were pretty solid especially this pixie palette especially the eyeshadows I think there's gonna be a lot of nice fall combination looks that can be created from this palette and I'm really excited to try this lipstick on the lips I love how it felt on my hand and it's just a gorgeous shade and now the lashes the first pair of lashes are by Zola and these are in the style Laney I have a couple pair of Zola lashes I really like how they wear they're pretty comfortable this lash style is definitely a lot wispier than what I prefer the band is thin and it's flexible so just be a little bit careful I'm actually kind of afraid that I am going to rip it the next style of lashes are by my lash bag I think this is in the style candy these kind of remind me of bat wings <laughs> this band is still flexible it's not as delicate as delicate as the Zola this lash style is also pretty wispy but it goes from long to short long to short for that effect I hope that these were really nice and I'm curious to learn more about my lash bag and then the last three lashes are by lashy box we have 3d silk lashes in the style darling I definitely don't own any styles like this in my collection these are really pretty though I like how they are more natural but they're still dramatic by the length lashy box lashes also have a pretty thin band but its flexibility is very similar to the my lash bag I also like this lash style because it starts out short and it fans out really dramatic as you get towards the outer portion of your eye kind of like my lash style that I have on today the fourth lash style is in the style Jamaica in my opinion these two lash styles look very similar the main difference that I see between the my lash bag style and the lashy box style is how full they are my lash bag looks a lot fuller than the lashy box style this band feels very similar to the previous lashy box band this style is also a little bit wispy and it goes from short thin short thin kind of want to do a comparison side by side of wearing the my lash bag on one eye and the lashy box on the other eye and the last lash style is lunar I think lunar is gonna look super pretty for those more natural looks it also goes short thin short thin and this is lunar compared to Jamaica they have a very similar style to them again the main difference would be lunar doesn't look nearly as voluminous so if you want to look at it you have the most volume middle volume and then least volume luckily I'm a huge fan of the short long short long styles because I see myself getting use out of all three styles so for the lashes I think there was some variation to it we have these Zola lashes which are super wispy and then we have these gorgeous darling lashes that kind of remind me of lash extensions and then we got three pairs of lashes which look very similar in style it just depends how much volume do you want I would love to know do you guys get lashy box do you guys get the XL tier like I do or do you get the full dramatic or natural tiers did you get any makeup items in your box if you got the XL tier did you get the same makeup items as me I would love to know which appeal cosmetics lip shade did you get and did you get the same B Bella brush and if you get the other tiers of lashes did you get any of the same styles as I did and are you guys excited for October's box thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe before you leave and if you don't I appreciate your view anyway anyways and I'll see you in the next video.